Hello everyone and welcome back. This is like the Mad Dash run, seriously, because it's been 99 degrees here today. You're not on my tripod. <coughs> Excuse me. Super duper hot. I'm going to try to pick these peppers off these plants over here with Chris. And can't bring you along for the whole thing, obviously. I will pause it, bring you back, show you how many peppers we could get. I had to go in and get snippers. That's where we're at so far, so hang tight. I wanted Chris to grab the phone because if he comes in here, this is a total mistake. I meant to put this in the other bed. Do you, do you see what's growing? These are those cherry peppers that you stuff with provolone and prosciutto, and it's over in the sweet bed when over there is the hot bed. And I also forget what these are. So try to bring you along and show you some of the harvest but yeah I'm shocked to see this here I didn't think any made it I thought my roommate killed the plant and this is amazing so I'm not going to pick any off of here all we're doing show you the bucket so far all we're doing because it's so stinking hot is trying to just go for strictly the green bell peppers leave the Carmen Italians and anything hot I guess and uh, make a mad dash run to get a bunch of peppers out quickly because it's tomorrow's going to be a hunter. I mean, we just can't get a break around here. And I'm afraid that we're going to end up losing harvest. And two, I want the peppers to be able to generate again. I just had a mishap. I know Chris is pointing into the bed. But I just had another mishap with a tomato on a big Kellogg's breakfast back there. Something is getting into these two beds, some type of, I don't know if it's a raccoon, possum, and it's eating all my tomatoes, so thank God for a successful, I guess, garden season last year. But we're going to go back to picking some more peppers, and then we'll turn it back on and show you how many peppers we can fill up in the new little, I think this was for water and soda, ice, whatever, that I'm using, so I have something to actually harvest with if you saw my cabbage video so look at all these peppers love the heat but they look terrible last night these have half to be the cayenne peppers look it's like loaded so i'm not going to worry about hot peppers because if he backs up some this half of the bed over here half of it on this side over here is all hot down there sweet and this whole bed is green bell peppers, Carmen Italian, I mean, oh my gosh, I can't even think of them all. Some purple ones, so even if it's not purple, just gonna go in and pick, let me see. Um, yeah, my Carmen Italians, let's see if I can get you a shot. Um, okay, so these two here are Carmen Italians. I was soaking it at the root last night. Uh, the giant Marconi, that's it. I, I couldn't think of the name. So the giant Marconis are supposed to be red. I'm asking Chris not to break any of the plants. And, um, yeah, we may leave these on. We'll have to just see how it goes. But let's do this Mad Dash run to get peppers. That's the tomato bed over there suffering really bad damage from whatever's getting into my garden and eating. This is the bed they stumbled through, and I'm probably going to have to cut eggplants. So... I guess we'll show you what it looks like when we're done. I really don't even think I'm going to get a red tomato this year at the rate this is because I can't seem to figure out what type of animal it is that's getting into the tomato bed. But back to the peppers. There's lots of blooms. They're fragile because of the heat. Even though, believe me, these look great compared to how they looked last night. I did a deep, deep soaking without the nozzle on the hose and went all around the bottom, the sides, so, difficult gardening season, but back to picking peppers. We'll show you what it looks like. Say hi, Chris. Hello. Uh, we'll show you hi, what Boone. it... <laughs> he said hi, Boone. We'll show you what it looks like as we get there. Okay, so this is Chris's second mistake. <laughs> Not his first. Um, he just picked a giant Marconi, and it is, it's, it is funny. You can let it ripen in the house, but look at the size of this pepper that will be a gorgeous red so i just said to him please don't pick anymore 
but he picked it. The last one he picked was pretty big, but this one is actually way bigger. He's saying it's huge. <laughs> so just wanted to show you that blunder and how big that pepper is. Now back to work. Okay, so Chris has got the camera on. Folks, look at this. These are the big Bertha peppers. Now, I'm over here preaching, pick your peppers, pick your peppers, and I haven't. Um, I am having a couple falling off. Um, a lot of leaves are falling off, but I'm looking at it this way. If I get these off, then it can have a chance to produce again. But if you want to see what a big Bertha looks like, let me cut this off. a big birth of pepper let me grab another one let me get this off so the plant can make more look at the size of them and the M.I. Gardner resistant peppers are sort of like this too they're like disease free so that's amazing can you see in there look at this another big gigantic one that's stuck It grew a little funky, but whoops. Pretty big still. Um, so yeah, this is the bed. Oh wow. Okay, hold on. Another big enormous one. And this is all labeled the um these are the Bonnie Bell uh big berthas. So we're going to go through this bed, have to see up the middle, and keep picking. This is where we're at so far. I'm a little shocked. I feel like I always do amazing when it comes to peppers, but it is what it is this season. We're all fighting to grow food amongst Mother Nature. I don't even know what this pepper is, but it's like bright, bright red. I don't know if I'm ready to start picking the hots. I don't know because it's so much to do all at once when you harvest like this. So obviously there's going to be leaves that aren't good. But this is the first time of me actually being on camera because it's usually I have to film everything. These are the Serranos right here. So it's leading into the hots. It's a red hot one right there. So right here is the sweets. I don't have to bend down and look up the middle. So, yeah, just really wanted to show you, like, these, these Bertha peppers. So, we'll be back. Show you the final. Okay, so, I'm probably going to be incorrect. It's my first time growing them. I wanted to do Mexican cooking. Is it Anaheim? Look at them. It's where they gr they're green and they turn black. So, this is probably a good size. I'll end up picking them. Um, but that's a new pepper for me this year. I'm in the hot bed right now and I don't really think I'm willing to sign up for picking all the hot peppers because I have a lot of things I told you I've been harvesting without y'all and I have a couple hundred of the Indian Thai peppers I have to take care of still beets and carrots to still put up so I'm gonna have to deal with this. If you saw my haul and you've been on this channel for a, a long time get tons and tons of peppers so to be honest with you with all the craziness going on in the world and these god awful temperatures here grateful to get anything that makes it i mean honestly it's it's a hard gardening season this year but super excited about these new ones the, the red hot cherry peppers and then these so i think i'm gonna take this off ready great it's just starting to turn black you can leave it on there i guess to get darker but that's good for me honestly um and i think i'll go for this one and maybe leave those other two go on there and i think that's the same plant right there these are all my shishito peppers coming in and i just literally had no patience i'm not even gonna lie I picked up a bag of shishito peppers so I can blister them because if you have not tried that in a cast iron pan with shishito peppers, they're delicious. So I guess we'll take a quick glance around the sweet peppers again. 
and look in, see if we forgot anything, and then it's on to watering. So we'll hit the pause button and we'll bring it back. But when I find an exciting pepper that I forgot I planted, I just wanted to show you. There's actually, these two might be good sizes too. You don't have to let these get real big. I think you can let them get a little bit more blacker on the vines, up to you. But I took those two off because I just want to try them. Um, and this is loaded. Look at all the shishito peppers. And this is technically my first harvest of peppers. Well, that's not true. I had a little other one. Something's red down here. Hold on a second. I have to see where I saw it at. Get that all the way down. Well, this one's done. So this is definitely the hot cayenne peppers. Right there. That one's ready. There's a lot of green on here. It's all red in the middle. Let's see what it is. Thank God I can still bend for my age. Hold on, I'm getting them. Voila. These are red, red. So, and I have the Serranos in here. So, now I'm going to start keeping an eye out for these peppers. For when they you can get them green pick them off when they're green or you can wait till they get red and it's the hot cayenne peppers so i have to make sure i remember this and i'm pretty sure this is long hot let me show you so glad he's here right now to turn the camera on to get me even though i'm a hot mess right now hold on let me see if i can get this These are the long hots. This one just fell off because it wasn't green. So, another one I can highly recommend is the long hots. They're really, really good. I'm going to put these, um, like fry them up, and then I'm going to preserve them in olive oil. So, that's that. So, we have to do like another quick mad dash. I feel atrociously hot. Chickens have been struggling today, big time, for, as a little update. We bought an expensive fan. Well, the battery was more money than the fan, but they have a fan. But it's just so hot. So, if I find another pepper or something I forgot I planted, just amazed at how many buds are on this. And that's the trick, is to get all the peppers off. Don't hurt the flowers that are on the top. And then you should get two more harvested peppers out of all of these. So... Got to search up the middle, make sure we got them all off, and Chris is off her in the water, so I am not going to fart around, um, and I am going to let him water, because it'll give me a break. Last night I took the nozzle off, in case I didn't say this, and I deep bed it watered, which was down real low at the root. So I guess we'll show you the pail. Oops, I'm dropping peppers everywhere. Not bad for just a couple minutes of picking some peppers. And I'm glad that I got this for five dollars at Aldi's. This is heavy. Here, you lifted how many how heavy or how many pounds would you say that is? A couple. A couple pounds. A couple. That's heavy. a lot of peppers in there. So let me see. I'm trying to turn this around without making you all dizzy. Sorry about that. But this is definitely worth it for five bucks. Most definitely. And you know what? I'm going to take it. Just found a couple more bigger ones. So, Anaheim, correct me. Leave a comment down below. I'm going to take these off. That's a decision that I made. And let this plant do what it's going to do. Because here it is. It has more buds and it has more peppers going. So, we're going to search in between. But I think that's going to be it. Um, Sunday Night Live, 9 o'clock Eastern. If this is this big, I will show it on live. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see how many more we get. So, got to get in here and keep looking. And plus water. So, alright. Well, hang tight for a few more minutes. We'll see if we get any more. And then we'll close this video out. So I want to talk about this a little bit. You know, I'm not a pepper um, scientist or whatever, but you see all this? 
This drives me nuts. I know a lot of this is probably coming down due to the hot temps here, but if I'm wrong, let me know. Um, it just worries me leaving the leaves underneath these plants. But look at how many pepper leaves are down. And that's time consuming to take them all off, but that is usually what I do. And I'll make a pile. So I'm just going to assume while Chris is back there watering um, that this is coming from possibly the heat. There's not a lot of flower buds. I probably sound like I'm screaming in your ear because it's real close to my mouth. There's not a lot of um, flowers dropping, just a lot of this going on. So yeah, but I am in here looking and stripping all the peppers off. Some people will leave them on there to turn ripe. Sometimes I'll do that, sometimes I won't. But if you want another harvest of peppers in this heat, you're better off taking the peppers off so that the plant that has all the flowers and everything on it can have a chance to reproduce more. Um, you know, you just, just ends up being more successful with getting another big pepper haul. I do, like I said a few minutes ago, I'm so used to these enormous pepper hauls, but if you've been here a while, I was on Shed Wars last year and I got a buku amount of peppers and tomatoes and just food in general. I think I grew 265 pounds of food. 260, wait, did I just say that wrong? I probably did. 2,000 and like 65 pounds of food. Let me correct myself. Um, so I do have things left over. You know, I don't need like a buku amount of tomatoes, but I would like to get a ripened tomato off of one of my plants. And whatever this animal is to stop eating it um, as far as the peppers are concerned I'm getting a quite a bit um, and I'm not real concerned I think I will get more this is that variegated uh, candy cane pepper so don't get alarmed and think oh no you have a diseased pepper in here I don't I'll show you what the candy cane pepper looks like this is a little bit bigger but see how it has like these stripes in it? It's just how the plant grows. I tried it last year. I liked it. Um, it doesn't give you a gigantic pepper. But that's okay. It's a good eating pepper. Right there. Interesting. Shiny and beautiful. So that is a variegated uh, candy cane pepper. Let me make sure. Yep, my candy cane. And the leaves are even falling off this poor plant here. So... Chris is offering to do the watering and helping me out. We just figured, let's just do a mad dash run and get these peppers. Now my giant Marconis and my Carmen Italians are on the plant. My friends, they're enormous. I mean, my garden could look great. See these all on the other end. But yeah, not so much in other areas. You know, just squash, the bed looks terrible. But I don't know what to do. I want to pick them off. And then I kind of don't want to pick them off. Dropping peppers everywhere. And I just picked a whole bunch more of basil. I have basil all over the garden. It's just the leaves. You know. I guess it's from the heat. But if you know that. Um, please leave it down below. But this is going to be a big pepper harvest. Let me show you the size of these. Look. These are the Carmen Italians. This is a big one right here, real big. I'm gonna take this one off, my friends. It can finish ripening in the house. I don't think I can get it off. Let me re grab my scissors. I just did that Aldi's thing, Aldi's haul on two garden vines, and I can't find them already. So let me sit you right there. Enjoy that pretty pepper while I try to cut this off. I can show you the size of this. This will turn red. I had a lot of red ones last year. They were just turning red really quickly. Look, another enormous one. I love the smell of these peppers. These are the Carmen Italian. And I know because Mayan died from my roommate with the heat. 
So I bought two, and there's the tag. See? Harmon Italians. Unless I screwed up somehow, and they are the giant Marconis, but I'm looking in between. Look at these. It's huge. So I still think right now that it's going to be a big pepper haul for sure. Yep, what am I worrying for? It's going to be a really good pepper year. We still have, this is July, August, September for these pepper plants to continue producing. So I do think I will get quite a bit. I wish because I was late getting my stuff out this year, but these plants are, this one is up to my shoulder. Usually my pepper plants are all the way up to my shoulders. You can see this is more bushier. Um, I got everything out, I think two weeks after Mother's Day because it was still cold here. So, yeah. It's gonna be a big harvest of peppers and I'm extremely grateful. So let's put this in there. And I just thought it was funny that I just brought um, snippers, I call them, and can't find them. So this is pretty much almost got a little bit more room and it will be filled. So I wish I remembered because that's what I was going to say. The wind blew my cups away before I could label them. And I'm just not sure. But I'm so happy about this. I hope it is abundant. I, I really do so I can just make my own. Because um, I usually do like to treat myself to that every once in a while. It's the, um, the cherry peppers with the provolone and the uh, prosciutto. Amazing. And I am... I always do this if I'm out of bed and I'm harvesting I will prune my basil so again you're looking at um, a basil and pesto video today this is later at night Chris is in the back trying to help those zucchini plants out um, and I'm telling you the amount of basil pesto I'm gonna be making is gonna be like I don't know, lots of jars. I just took my time doing that video. I haven't made pesto in a little bit and I haven't had my blender here in a while, but that's really easy to do when you put everything right into your food processor. So I am going to be making more. I still have a buku amount in the house and I'm just sitting my basil right there. And yeah. So, let me take another glance around the peppers before I end this video. Mm, I love the smell of basil. I have to say that that's a big pepper haul, everyone. It's kind of heavy. This Chris is going to get ready to leave, so I still have to finish watering now on top of it. But I picked a lot of peppers. These are the Serranos. If Chris can come closer. You should probably pick your Serranos about that size. Mine are really, really big. But I did grab those because I saw them out the corner of my eyes and some hot banana peppers. But I mean, can we even? This is a huge pepper haul. Very happy with it. And now the plants will get some relief of the big ones taken off to be able to produce more because as you see, it has buds. And um, yeah, so this is filled to the gills. I think it's a great harvest of peppers. And yeah, I even under the conditions, because tomorrow it's gonna be 100 degrees, it's 99 today. So I wanna give my pepper plants the chance to breathe. So there's my video. There's the actual first pepper haul, which is pretty amazing. I'm happy with it. So, thank you for, to Chris to be able to turn on the camera. Don't mind my appearance. It's so stinking hot here. And, um, yeah, not too shabby of a haul at all. Some of these are just monstrous. So, they're all, all mixed up in here. 
So if you have ones like the Carmen Italian, ones that are supposed to turn red, which I see another one. I did pick the other ones off too, by the way, Chris. I'm just gonna let them go red inside the house and enjoy them. So that's my video today. That is the big uh, pepper harvest. I think that was the right decision to make under the stress of the, of the heat condition. And that was to get these peppers off. Now, the plants have the rest of July, August, and September to do some more. So there you have it, everyone. Huge pepper harvest of 2022. Uh, love y'all. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.